Hello everyone, welcome back to another VMAP tutorial. Here we're gonna take a look at de-featuring a geometry and mid-surfacing. Okay, let's get started. First up, let's import our geometry, which was created in SolidWorks and then saved as um, ParaSolid. There you go, I'm gonna import this iBeam and SolidWorks application it is, but it is saved as a ParaSolid. Okay, open iBeam. I'm gonna leave it the same scale. I'm not gonna scale it up or down. Same name. Okay, and there you have it. Here's our geometry that we're gonna be working on. As you can see, we can have several features that are not really necessary for us to have in our simulation. We have some fillets, chamfers, we have some small holes that maybe at when they're gonna be assembling this part, it could be useful, but uh, in grand uh, view of simulation, those are not really necessary, so we're gonna remove them, and also these are very thin surfaces, and we're gonna mid-surface them, and uh, reduce our element count when we're gonna mesh it. See, if we mesh it this way, a 3D piece, we're gonna have significant amount of elements that's gonna cost computationally, time-wise, and so on. And our all the, the matrices that the software needs to calculate are much, much bigger versus if we mid-surface it, have a 2D uh, surface only, and uh, mesh that one, probably we're gonna end up with 10 to 20% of the elements of this 3D feature. Okay, and the accuracy of the solution is not gonna be lost. In this kind of situations, it's gonna be almost identical. Not identical, but very close. Okay, all right, let's get started. For this uh, process, we're gonna need the meshing toolbox on the left hand side right here. You can see, me click on this meshing. This is the area that we need to do some work in. If for some reason you don't have this here, you can go to Tools and right there, Meshing Toolbox, same thing. To get started, let's go here, Feature Removal, click on it, Feature Type. We're going to remove these two little holes right here, right? We, we said uh, they are completely unnecessary for our analysis, so they're not going to impact anything. So click on Loops and we can select with these two. They will pretty much get the same job done, they're just a little bit differently. So let's start with this one, the last one. If we click on it, it's gonna ask us to select the curve that we wanna remove. I'm gonna click this one right here and click OK and we can see that it nicely removed it. Now let's see, use uh, this other button. If we select this one, if we're gonna go right here and select it, see what's gonna happen. Right away it's gone. So it's not gonna ask you questions. See, this button is more slower and more guiding you of what you want. It's gonna ask you what curve you want, what you wanna do, select, okay, more steps. If you take this one, this will just get the job done without any questions, okay? So, depends which one you want, or which one you get used to. And there you go, we remove these two features. Next step, we can uh, select on the same uh, tool here, we can select blends. This will help get rid of fillets, like we have, see a fillet here, here, here and here. So we can just uh, remove all kind of fillets or we can also even limit the size. If we click this one, it'll ask you like a smaller than a certain limit. Uh, if it's uh, bigger than that, it's not gonna remove it, but it doesn't matter. Here we just wanna remove everything that's uh, a fillet. If we, all we have to do is right now just select the solid that we wanna work with and it's gonna highlight where it found any fillets that uh, we could actually remove. There you go. We don't even have to select them one by one. So all you have to do is cl click OK. It's gonna do some calcs and there you have it. See, it is completely gone. Now, from theory, when we learned, right, we know that this means that we're gonna have stress concentrations here, here and down here as well. But when we run our uh, software, our analysis, we're gonna show, we're gonna see results here showing that. But since we know that this is just fictitious, 
in reality we will not have this. Even if you wanted to machine a straight corner like that, it's not possible. You can't machine a zero degree corner, right? It's always going to have some kind of fillet. So those stress concentrations that we would see here, we can ignore it because we know they don't exist. Okay, but it helps us in the calculations because it removes significant amount of elements from our uh, simulation. Remember our solid? Where did it start out? We began with a SOLIDWORKS model. We can delete the features here as well, but it is more easier and more beneficial to do it in a finite element software, because if we start deleting stuff in the SOLIDWORKS, you if you work with SOLIDWORKS, you know that if you start randomly deleting stuff in the middle of these model trees, you will develop a lot of uh, errors. Be parent-children relationship. You get rid of the parent, all the children will get confused. Right? So, it is much easier to just do it in finite element softwares because they don't freak out the way, for example, SOLIDWORKS would. Okay, the next feature that we want to get rid of is these chamfers that we have on the edges, right? For this one, we're going to pick surfaces and we're going to remove these. I'm going to make sure that pick front is uh, highlighted and I'm going to pick this one and let's click on BAM. See, right away it is removed. BAM, instantly. No more chamfer. Okay, let's do it to all the edges on top, bottom, there you go, all gone, we have on the bottom too, this one, this one, and on the other side, this one, and this one, there you go. Alright, we removed all the features that we wanted to get rid of, and now we are getting ready to do the mid-surfacing, okay? We're going to go to Geometry, find mid-surface right here. There are several options to pick from. We're going to go with Automatic. Click that one. We'll select the surfaces which you want to work with. For me, there's only one, so I I'm, I'm, can click Select All. It's going to select everything. Here's the highlight, so you can make sure you check to know what you want to remove or what you want to work with. Click OK. And target thickness, what does this mean? This means that it wants you to select the largest thickness of surface that you uh, want to include in this mid-surfacing operation. Let's say if uh, these two surfaces I wanted to include, but the top one was thicker, then I could select this thickness over here, and when it, the mid-surfacing would be done, it would uh, perform the operation on this one, this one, and this would be omitted. For me, I want all three of them mid-surfaced, so we can use this little uh, tool right here, even to measure. See, we can go here, okay, and the top one, okay, and it picked up the dimensions of this. Now we can go ahead and click OK, and right away we can see that he mid-surfaced our geometry. And we can go all the way along it, or flip it or whatever, we can see everywhere that is mid-surface. We can also go to the model tree, go to geometry, and there you have it. If we turn off our original geometry right here, then we are able to see the mid-surface mid uh, geometry that we have left. It's just nice thin sheets. This is exactly what we wanted. If you want to look at it from the side, you can see it's super skinny. Very good. That's exactly what we wanted. Turn it back on. See, this will take a lot more elements to mesh than this. We could even do some editing of the lines if we would have some irregularities, for example, sticking out here, and we could fix it and make it straighter. And on this one, I don't have anything, but let me show you on a different project. So here on this one, we can see the same uh, I-beam was mid-surfaced, but we have a little lip on both ends that is sticking out. And we want to get rid of that, right? So we can... Uh, fix those and make them look better. 
you can go to meshing and in the same area but instead of feature removal we click on geometry editing click on extend curve on a surface right there and we can make sure that we extend those surfaces right there we can extend it to a location and we're going to click on this line and extend it to that point on the bottom same that line to that point on the other side that line to that point and the fourth one we're going to extend that line to that point and there you have it now both sides have nice straight uh, sides now we can uh, go ahead and uh, delete the original solid that we had right because if we gonna go and mesh our work it's automatically gonna mesh this solid as well we don't want that so click right click on it and delete get rid of it we don't want it anymore we just want this nice mid surfaced feature all right well this video is getting long enough so we're gonna stop right here and make sure you tune in for the next one where we're gonna actually mesh it with then we're gonna apply boundary conditions loads do an analysis on it and see what we get all right make sure you guys like the video subscribe and tune in for the next one have a great day